Justin Scoggins takes on Pedro Munoz. We have Justin Scoggins as a minus 185 favorite. Pedro Munoz can be had for plus 145. I think you already know who I like in this fight. I'll, I'll let you take though. this away first. Okay, so Paul, a couple fights ago, was talking about Worley Alves' guillotine, and you know, got to watch out for that. Well, the people watching on YouTube don't yeah, know yeah. what successive order that we did this in. Well, we're going to put the whole, they can watch the whole show if they want. They get different segments too, but, you know. Are we playing up in single as well? I, I think it flows better if it's in, like, single as in, yeah, fight one, fight two, fight three. But I think as a whole show, people that want to sit down and watch the whole show don't want to click and then wait for the next video and then go click another one. But all things aside. Sounds like you're creating a whole bunch more work for me. I don't even care about putting the 12 videos online, to be honest with you. I mean, yeah. do I get paid any extra money to put 12 videos online? No, I don't. So I think, I think you're breaking the fourth wall right now. <laughs> I'm breaking <laughs> I'm breaking this And right the wall down. is made of glass. It's getting knocked straight down. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. Pedro Munoz has got a nasty guillotine choke. Justin Scoggins, he's got this thing where he sticks his head into guillotine chokes. That was a possibly long time he, ago. Possibly when he shouldn't. So maybe I agree that Scoggins is the better fighter. Maybe I agree Scoggins should be the favorite. Dude, but the guy who showed up against Ray... I, I was supposed to let you just say it, but then I just started to... I have to defend my boy. There's a few guys on this earth that are my boys, and I don't yeah, ever stray was, away from he them. He was your boy at 125. Yeah. Now he's at 135. I think, I think that Ray Borg fight... It seemed like it all came together. Ray Borg ain't no Pedro Munoz, buddy. Remember that? But Ray Borg has better takedowns than Pedro Munoz. Yeah, yeah. It's just when I saw Ru uh, Russell Doan versus Pedro Munoz, right? Russell Doan's chewing this guy up. He's hurting him. Kid he's hurting guy. him. What do you and think Scoggins is going to do? No, no, no. I'm going to pick Scoggins. I just got to give you heat because he's your boy. And minus 185, I don't like that. To be honest with you, I got a kid moving up from 25 to 35. Yeah. His he's a big one, 125. Or yeah, but what's his problem been in the past? Look at his fights with Ortiz and his fights against um, Moraga. Getting out grappled. Getting out grappled. Now he's taking on Pedro Munoz, who's essentially a better grappler than both those guys. And he's taken up at a weight class but I think up. those other guys have better wrestling and, and scrambles. Listen, I I, 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 agree, I agree with you. Yeah, but the, Pedro but the, Munoz the, is the near The near two to one is the problem here. Because it's the same thing with Moraga. Free money. Moraga's... <laughs> Morag is a former uh, ASU alumni. He's a guy that, that wrestled for the Sun Devils, D1 school up in Arizona. He's got good wrestling. On paper, he had better wrestling than Scoggins. Yeah. Scoggins goes out there and he's out wrestling him. He is. Yeah. But he keeps sticking his head in that guillotine, a la Bubba Jenkins versus Georgie Karahanian. Now, let me tell you, he's learned from there. He has learned from there. But what all I'm saying is that the times that we've seen him lose, it's the grappling. Yeah. The times that we've seen him win, like or uh, Borg, he out grapples Borg. Right? He's able to use that wrestling, stuff the takedowns. For the most part, he just wants to stay on the feet, and he's super quick. He's kind of like around. a little he's like a little wonder boy. Yeah. So I personally think that he does the exact same thing. I think he chews up Pedro Munoz. Pedro Munoz needs the takedown. His takedowns are awful. You ever seen him against Jeff Kern and RFA? You know. Not good takedowns. Needs you to take him down, which is not going to be a case here. And he's not fast enough nor versatile enough to actually get a piece of Scoggins. The one thing that concerns me is that line. I mean, at minus 185, I need to be sure that Scoggins is going to come out here and beat him up. And I think he does. But that one little X factor is the submission game all around. Pedro Munoz needs... He needs two seconds to set it up. And once it's set up, you're in a lot yep. of trouble. And Scoggins has shown he's such a young guy. And now he's moving up weight class for the first time ever. It only needs a second, right? So, it's a little risky. I like Scoggins, don't get me wrong, but I do see some risk in this fight. And like I said last week on our show, it's just like, you should probably shouldn't listen to me talking about Khabib, but... Hey, they should have, right? They, I guess he looked like a minus 300 favorite at the end of the day. Uh, looked like a minus... Th I got kind of rocked in the first, and then other, that, other than that, he... Exactly. Dominated. We all knew the, the holes in his game, and we talked about the holes in Justin Scoggins' game. Uh, Scoggins is a guy you probably shouldn't listen to my advice on. But he's going to get the win here. It's, he's going to make Quite it look possible, easy. Man. And Quite he's going to be a new little fresh face in that 135-pound division, which is really starting to grow and has a whole bunch of young talent coming up. It's going to be an exciting division for the next few years to come. Yeah, it's developing.